37 million Americans are expected to hit the road for this Memorial Day weekend. And yes, it's going to feel like they're all on the highway with you. A strong economy and low gas prices are contributing to what's expected to be a 5% increase in holiday travel, the highest in 10 years. Joining us now is Robert Sinclair Jr. from AAA, who's going to steer us through all of these numbers. Robert, welcome back to Rise Exchange, and thank you for not being on the road right now yes, and hanging out you. with us. Yeah. Uh, I want to start with a very serious topic, though, this Takata sure. airbag story. We've been covering it all week, 34 million cars or so being recalled. What do owners of cars need to know right now? Because there's not a lot of information that's easily accessible. No, but there is a website supposedly that they can access to see if their vehicle is on there. Unfortunately, it seems like it's been crashing under the weight of all the people <laughs> checking these things out. Uh, probably the biggest thing is you, you need to be careful driving because uh, this can the airbags can explode spontaneously, uh, apparently, but also under a minor crash it could explode and you'd have this problem. So I guess it's uh, further impetus not to drive distracted. Call your dealer? Call your dealer. You can start with your dealer. I've had people tell me that they've called the uh, company headquarters for the particular brand that they have uh, in California. One member called them and had they checked his vehicle and said he was okay. So the information is out there. You might have to dig a little bit for it. Okay, speaking of driving, there's going to be a mm -hmm. lot of people on the roads this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, historically, how is this weekend going to shape up on the roads? This is the busiest in 10 years, in fact, uh, with 37 million people traveling and 88% of those, 33 million by motor vehicles. So it's going to be very busy indeed. You figure that's, that's it's roughly 10% of the U.S. Uh, population. Are people driving further this time around, or are they staying closer to home? Well, most people, if you're driving generally, you're going to go a fairly good distance. Our members tell us that if they're going 1,000 miles or more, they'll fly. But if it's 1,000 miles or less, generally they're driving. People from our area drive upwards of 500, 600 miles. That's one way in just a weekend. So they're, they're traveling pretty far afield. How are the roads? Because here in the Northeast, after this horrible winter, mm. the roads are a total disaster. Uh, uh, where, what is the what is the AAA's position right now on fixing the highway system and the roads? Well, it's all part of the uh, highway transportation bill, which the Congress just punted on for another two months. That bill needs to be fully funded so that we'll have money to fix the roads. And we've been advocating for a nickel a gallon increase in the gasoline tax. And you consider the volatility of gasoline prices where they have gone up and down more than a dollar and a half in the mm -hmm. last year or so, you wouldn't even notice it. But for some reason, Congress is reluctant to do it, and they're talking about ex uh, repatriating money from overseas and all that kind of thing to fund the bill. We need to fully fund the We need, uh, we need the to get the roads bill. fixed right now. We need to get the roads fixed, bridges, roads, uh, all sorts of infrastructures cr crumbling around us. Are your members telling you that they're going to be hitting the roads because fuel prices are down, because they feel better about the economy, because maybe they got a little bit of a pay increase? What's the driving force? Uh, gasoline prices, uh, for sure. Uh, last year, in 2014, we say it. $30 billion in gasoline prices worked out to an extra $750 per household. And the same is continuing this year. Not as much. We've seen prices go up about 50 cents since uh, the end of winter. So that's a big, uh, big motivator. And also car, gas, car sales, rather, have mm -hmm. gone up significantly. The uh, November, December period was the best in history in the United States as far as car sales, motivated by low and no interest financing. Well, and because people had cars for historically longer periods of time right. because of the recession. That's the money right. you save at the pump, though, or you spend any more at the hotels right now? Probably, yeah. Hotels are a bit more expensive compared to last year. Uh, airfares are down. Um, and rental cars are up significantly. So, the, you know, the economic factors uh, are playing into this. Household net worth is up. Disposable income is, is up. I think people overall are feeling better about the economy and then taking the money that they're saving on gasoline and, and spending it on a trip. And um, they're traveling with the family on these trips for the for most part? For the most part, yeah. They're going to see family and friends. National parks are very popular. Theme parks, mm. beaches, those sort of things. But really, it's, it's family that people go to see. Do people choose new places to go? Where do they go to the same places? They go to the same places. They you know, do, we, we do, uh, we track the uh, map requests that we get, and it seems like it's always the same places. You know, it's, it's Orlando, it's Washington, D.C., it's Philadelphia, up and down the eastern seaboard. So pretty, people are pretty consistent. Robert Sinclair with AAA, thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me.